Hello and welcome to an untubbing video on this channel, a first ever. Um, today we take a look at this uh, this uh, universe of imagination creations. Play sand brown. They also had like neon blue, red, and green. I'm not really gonna go and like really edit this video. This is a bit just of uh, first impressions and see how well this works with uh, you know toys and figures and you know photography and stuff and see if it's going to be helpful. So I bought a tub of this. This is from Toys of Us. In fact, it even has a Toys of Us logo here. It says a warning: not suitable for children under 36 months. Small part. You don't say. It's got sand in it. Small parts. <laughs> I'm joking. Has it. In order to remove color stains in the hands caused by sand, please wash them out by using soft soap and cold water. Danger of tearing off and swallowing small parts. Content and colors may vary as shown. Keep this information from any possible correspondence in the future. Where applicable, remove all packaging before giving this item to your child. Um, this is terrible English, whatever. So for those of you who don't know, there was this thing that was called Kinetic Sand. It was a big hit, I guess, last year or half a year ago. And this is like the imitation of it. It's not really a bootleg, but it's definitely a knockoff by uh, Toys of Us. So, uh, and this universe of imagination creation. So, and um, I like how they have to have traditional Chinese and then simplified Chinese only because, oh no, Chinese people are so stupid, they can't read Chinese. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, anyway, so any I have here, uh, let's see, I've got like two sort of cooking dishes that's just been lying in the house for God knows how many years. Uh, that's not seen sunlight, it's just been the bottom of the kitchen shelf, so I thought, hey, might as well use it here instead of even going out and getting a tray myself. So I'm going to see, I'm going to put all this sand in here and see how that goes. So kinetic sand, from the videos I've seen, it's it's kind of like when you mix uh, cornstarch with water, like when you, when you hit it, it, it's quite solid, but you just let it loose, it falls apart, or like packets of slime you can get. Oh. See, this whole thing goes down. Uh, Kinetic Sand has advertisements calling it sand that never dries. And of course, technically, it's not you know wet with water or anything. It just has some sort of glue stuff in it. And um, this one's quite tough. Let's see, I'm going to be a bit careful here because I don't want the sand to go in the uh, fabric of where I shoot my videos. That's going to be a pain to you know clear out later. So uh, come on, maybe I should have got a spoon for this. So uh, this should, well, behave like, you know, sand at the beach when it's a bit wet. So you can build sand castles and stuff. You can also, like, buy other packs that come with, like, you know, sand molds. So you can actually do the sand castles at home and stuff. Oh, this is really glued together. It's, um, it's like Play-Doh, but it also falls apart, which is uh, where the kinetic this comes into play from like the other product when they call it kinetic sand. Come on. I hate that the uh, lid area of this jar is slightly smaller than the rest of the tub so that I can't just have the whole thing come out. This tub itself is also made of hard plastic. Oh. Riveting video, I know. Just watching a grown man just playing with sand, trying to get it out from a tub. Come on, almost all of it. <sighs> I know why it's a remove packaging before giving it to kids, because kids will be able to get this out of the packaging. Come on, come out. Oh no, I got a bit of sand on the cloth. That's great, great. If I can just break this, the rest of this apart, it should uh, come out quite easily afterwards. So uh, see how it sort of falls apart and yet glues together at the same time? Like, obviously kinetic sand is not actually kinetic, but it sort of behaves like something that was a bit kinetic. Right. We're gonna have to get up for this. Now, when you mess around with this, I uh, notice that the sand, the sand will, you know, get stuck uh, under your fingernails and glue onto your fingers just a little bit. 
so let's see oh well this is definitely brown color because it's not like bright beach sand so so it does have that red sand color to it let's see it's uh you know like you're mixing flour to make bread or cake it's got that feel to it so i wonder if it has any flour in here you know just like you know you play those a bit of flour as well. So, uh, well, actually, just for you to see how soft it is once it's out. Like, uh, if you get a big chunk of it and really squeeze it, right, it does stay together. But as soon as you pull it a little bit apart, it comes loose quite quickly. And uh, if I just hold on to this, you can see it doesn't really quite hold together. So it is kind of like, like wet sand. So it has, you know, some stick to it. Uh, let's see, now it's filling up the tray fine. Actually, just about right. Now in terms of like, you know, putting toys on this for photography and stuff, I'm gonna have to like, actually go in and I really shape the sand so it looks, you know, a bit more natural. You see these bits, if I don't push it down, like um, tight and squeeze it or press it down, it looks, a bit too flaky like like kind of like looking at cauliflower or broccoli you know like the top it flakes up a bit too much or like cotton candy so i don't really want you know cracks in the sand for the photography because then it won't look uh well quote unquote realistic Well, you know what, this will do for now because I'm not taking a photo just yet. I'm just doing this, you know, untubbing or <laughs> unboxing video. Uh, a little bit of stand stuck on my hands. I can sort of feel it in my fingernails. Not, not, not too bad. So uh, let's, let's start with, uh, well, Lego. I'm just gonna bring in Obi-Wan's hut here, let's see. And uh, so that means um, you guys are gonna see how hard, how, how easy it is. For, um, for someone to sort of clean this afterwards and get the sand out. Because this is not going to be like blue type where you can just get a bigger chunk and, you know, <laughs> unstick it from plastic surface. So probably going to have like toothpicks or some sort of brush to help clear it. Let's see, go down a little bit. There we go. So... Oh, uh see I guess I'll just push it down and see how well that goes no it's too hard to push down because it's going down slowly well it's definitely got the Lego shape there but uh, yeah sort of oh I wiggle it it's definitely going down much easier I uh, oops hit this saucepan I spilled out uh, Obi-Wan's green soup. Right, so that's in there, it's quite, you know, looks fine. And I guess I would want to, you know, push in... Ah, I'm, I'm breaking this set pretty much. Where's that piece supposed to go? I guess to make it more realistic, I'll just push the sand up towards the hut, like so. So just flatten that. That's uh, yeah, that that looks pretty good. Now I'll get a Tusker Raider here, and then um, I'll make him look a bit angry. I'm gonna make him lift this gaffy stick over there. Oh, so this goes down very easily because it's you know it's a small surface area. And I guess I'll get Obi-Wan with his lightsaber. He's going to fight this Tusken Raider and his gaffy stick. So let's move this. It's uh, quite heavy, by the way, because it is still all like sand and stuff. I'm going to see if I can have Obi-Wan just stand on one foot in the stand, like if it has enough grip to hold this Lego figure. Oh, no, 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 no. That won't do at all. 
Let's see, maybe maybe I push the sand up to his feet. And it's kind of working. And I just flatten this bit where the Tuscan Raider was standing. That, that kind of works. Now, uh, I wouldn't use this for animation and stuff because you get really frustrated and the figures will keep falling over. You really need plasticine or Play-Doh if you want to animate like Lego on a muddy or sandy texture. But what we have here, yeah, it looks, looks fine, you know, it looks quite... It's, uh, it would definitely work for display. Maybe for long-term display, you, you know, blue tack these things down before adding the sand. And it'll look much better. So let me see, let me get this figure out. Uh, none of the sand stuck to the Tuscan Raider, that's good. None of the sand stuck to Obi-Wan, that's good. If I pick this up. Uh, none of the sand stuck to the uh, big Lego house, so that that's great. All right, next up. Now it fits sort of, you know, small stuff. Let's see how hard it is to unshake this. Remove all the Lego ness. Oh, this really is like playing with pastry because I'm pulling this down. You see, the uh, you actually can see, see, pull this like the rest of the edge still comes with it. So let's see if I don't fill up the tray and get more of a dome shape here because I want to get a bigger figure in here now. So, um, I've not filmed the review for this figure yet, but I can tell you right now, I do quite like it does have some flaws but anyway here's uh, one of these Mandalorian figures let's see how well this guy is going to stand in the sand so let's see out here uh, let's see let's give him a bit of an action pose see so he's got his um, let him do his flame for a thingy there take this boogie right there we go so he's going to be shooting his flame cannon that stands really well much even more so than the Lego because I guess because his feet are bigger than the Lego feet, it's taking up more surface area, so more of the sand is gripping him. I say that and then he falls over. No, but really, this this is holding quite well, again. This, uh, yeah, this is... <laughs> no, not good. Um, let's try that again. Let's just let's flatten this. Let's try and stick his feet in again. Maybe, maybe let's try sticking his feet not so deep into this sand. Just like that. Just uh, squeeze that sand back in place. So yeah, as long as your figure's not in like extreme poses, uh, they can stand quite well in the sand. If I was to take this exact same pose and pose him on flat surface, this is uh, oh this is a falling over pose. So the sand is doing you know just enough to keep him from falling over. That's awesome. And if I was to do a photo shoot with this, if you look at his feet there, it uh, does, doesn't look out of scale. It's, uh, it's not the finest sand we have, but it, it gets the job done. Again, this, this, is, uh, this is pretty good. This, this is good. Now, yeah, finally, we are going to stick some fabric in here. And I have two, I have, uh, two of these black Jawas as well from the Mandalorian. I'm just going to get one. He's got a bit of his rope thing there. Let's, uh, let's do another sort of sand pose. I want even more of a dome this time. Let's see. So, you know, it'll look like the Jawas getting some kind of cover, maybe. Let's see. He's, um, yeah, that's sort of a trench. There we go. How about that? How about something like that? Something like that. Um, again, I'm not going to go too much in detail here. I'm not doing the photos right now. And uh, see, so um, I hope his legs a bit loose. Loose Jawas. That's that's not the show I want to watch. Yes, see, I can get this holding his gun properly. 
Like, these Black Series figures are a huge improvement to that Darth Maul and Darth Raven from a while ago, but there's still a lot of issues with them. And I kind of wish that this Jawa didn't have this fabric piece and it's just, you know, all sort of all solid. I can't hold this gun properly. Ah, that's annoying. Thank God I only just bought two of these. So, uh, stick them in the sand. There we go. And so that, that looks great, you know, Jawa in a bit of sand. Awesome. Let's see if he, uh, I'm just gonna push him in the sand like this. Like he's been shot and he's dying. Like, there we go. So let's, uh, let's pick him up. And, oh, what do you know? Didn't really pick up too much sand. It's a bit of on his arm, but uh, let's try that again. This is uh, dead. Stick his gun in there. Just died. Head in the sand and pick him up. Oh, we got a little bit. It's mostly to uh, the actual plastic gripping onto the sand, like you know, clipping it. But uh, otherwise, sand comes off quite easily. That's um, yeah. So as long as you don't get this sand onto a surface, you just have you know bits of cloth just sort of go. Yoink. Well, at least this cloth, it's not sticking. It's cool. Like it, the sand sticks to each other, but it doesn't stick onto uh, fabric. All right, this is going to be really useful for, you know, photography and all that. Uh, big figures, smaller figures and stuff. Oh, well, <laughs> a bit of sand did go into that feet there. So I guess I'll get it like that little hole at the bottom of the feet. But um, oh, it's come out. That's, that's great. If it was a deep hole, it'd probably get quite stuck in there, but otherwise... Yeah, this, uh, this sand stuff is uh, great. Great fun. Um, so, overall... Ooh, I do like that stringy like texture to it. You like tissue ripping, like you're ripping uh, shredding meat. Or when, when blue tack gets a bit thin, you get that stringness to it. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Imagine having this and then, you know, take photos of the figure, maybe have a laptop screen in the back for, you know, a more desert. And then on the front, you add uh, some, you know, Photoshop like filters of, you know, uh, dusty winds and stuff. This would, uh, this would make the photo look so great. And, you know, if you, if you um, say you brought your figures out to a beach, Sand there is usually a lot more coarse and can scratch your figure, but this this doesn't feel like it's going to scratch your figure. It's it feels you know for sand it feels relatively smooth, um, almost like you know like really fine sugar or salt. Like uh, hmm. so, imagine like fine salt, but it's half of its icing sugar, so you got that really nice smoother texture. I really don't feel like this is going to scratch my toys. Really squeeze it as well. This is uh oh now it's stuck to my hand. Maybe maybe if my hand's a bit wet it does that. If I grab this again without squeezing too hard, most of it's come off my hand. So it does yeah, it definitely glues to each other. Oh this is fun if you just make like a little shape and you can sort of watch it fall. Come on, there we are. You just leave it like that, you got the nice cracks there. So yeah, just it has just enough energy to cling onto each other, but it really can't hold up too much weight. I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like that uh, that smelly cheese when you cut it open, there's a bit of jumping maggots in it, and people eat it with the maggots. It looks like inside it's a real cheese, like you know, it's it's how it's fermented by having a little specific type of maggot eating the inside of it. It's super soft and creamy, but I guess that's also because you're eating the maggots. So. But anyway, uh, that's enough for this video. I'm rambling now. That's 20 minutes of a grown man playing with sand. And uh, yeah, this is... Uh-oh, just a little bit fell outside the tray. So I'm gonna 
turn this video off now and then you know try to put all of the sand back into the tub at least in Hong Kong this is cheaper than getting kinetic sand so if you can't get kinetic sand you find this brand somewhere maybe this is like the cheaper option and you know for the most part it works just fine I can't compare exactly how much better the actual branded kinetic sand would work but um Maybe that one does work better, maybe because I haven't experienced it. I think this one's already very good. If I've experienced kinetic sand, and it turns out that the kinetic sand is better, then I have something to compare it with. But from just from the videos I've seen online, uh, this I think this is like identical pretty much. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop doing this now. So and and plus plus uh, there's no YouTube or online videos about this particular brand of not kinetic sand. So hopefully this video is helpful for you to deciding if you pick up this off brand or you must get the more expensive kinetic sand branded stuff. Yeah, subscribe, suggest and comment below. Thanks for watching of course and take care and uh, have a nice day.